Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here. I'm inside of Premiere Pro CC 2017, and I filmed this short clip of my iPhone 6. As you see, it has a black screen, and I want to replace it with a screen insert using the Mocha Pro plugin. And yes, I'm going to track and replace it all in Premiere Pro, completely bypassing After Effects. Mocha is the only tracking plugin available for Premiere Pro. Mocha is different than typical tracking software because it is based on a unique planar tracking algorithm that can track almost any footage. This tool has been used on tons of high profile feature films, such as the entire Harry Potter film series, Star Wars Rogue One, and even La La Land. In fact, the team behind Mocha won their own Academy Award in 2013 for the development of the technology. I'm excited to show how this powerful yet simple tracking plugin works inside of Premiere. Before we get started, I want to let you know that I've included a link to download the cell phone footage as well as the screen insert in my description box so you can follow along. If you don't have Mocha Pro installed, you can head over to borisfx.com and download the trial version of Mocha Pro for Adobe. Also, if you want to purchase Mocha Pro, you can use my code GAL10 to get 10% off. To start, go to your effects tab and search for Mocha Pro. Drag and drop Mocha Pro onto the clip. Then, under effects controls, click on the Mocha logo and it will launch open the Mocha Pro plugin. The first step is to define the plane we want to track by using the spline tool. As I mentioned earlier, Mocha Pro uses an advanced planar tracking algorithm. So what is that? Well, basically Mocha Pro sees that everything in your video frame consists of multiple planes or surfaces, which it can track and compute tracking data from. In our case, we want to track the plane of the phone screen. Now I'm going to use the X-Blind tools to draw a search area for Mocha to track. So your impulse might be to track the entire phone screen. But as you see, this screen has some reflections, which can throw off most trackers. But with Mocha, I can creatively draw a shape that avoids the reflections and tracks only the edges of the phone. To do this, I'm going to draw a spline around the entire phone surface, including the edges. And then I'm going to click on Add X Spline Tool button to draw another spline within this existing spline just on the screen, so I can mask out those unwanted screen reflections from the track. This is a simple yet powerful technique for avoiding unwanted motion and solving all kinds of tracks. At the bottom under Track tab, make sure to select Perspective, so it will track perspective change over time. Now it's time to track, so first let's track forward by selecting the Track Forward icon. Now it will track frame by frame. You will be able to see if the track is working if the tracking layer is staying on the phone in the same location over time. So once it's done, it's time to track backwards. So scrub the current time indicator, the CTI, back to the green triangle, which is the point at which we created the screen tracking layer. So now let's click on the track backwards icon. So now that it's tracked, now under layer controls, you can rename the layer screen track. Now it's time to adjust the planar surface, which lets you place the specific region where you want the screen insert to be placed. To do this, click on Show Planar Surface icon. You will now see another blue rectangle appear. Now let's move each corner of the planar surface to be in the place of each corner of the black screen. You can zoom in for more accuracy using the magnify tool and then use the hand tool to move to the area of the phone you need to place the planar surface corner. You need to use the pick tool to move the planar surface corner to its exact place. Once you have all the corners in place, under layer properties next to insert clip, select import and select the gal screen insert that I provided with the footage download. Now under the insert tab at the bottom, Turn on Motion Blur. To get a preview of what the final render will look like, pull the current time indicator back to the beginning of the clip and under Render, hit Render Forwards. It's done rendering a preview, so let's turn off the overlays by selecting the icon Enable All Overlays, and then hit the spacebar to play it back to see how the preview looks. 
Now, all we have to do is hit the save icon in the upper left and then hit file and exit to jump back into Premiere Pro. Now back in Premiere Pro, under effects controls, check the box next to render. Now you can fully render the clip out in your Premiere Pro timeline. So that's it. And remember, you can use my promo code GAL10 to get 10% off the Mocha Pro plugin for Adobe. Mocha Pro's tools can be used for a wider range of effects, such as masking, stabilization, and even removing objects. So if you would like to see more Mocha Pro tutorials on my channel, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I make new video editing and production tutorials every week, so be sure to subscribe to keep up with the latest video trends. See you all next week. Bye!